Hey everybody, how are you? Oh my goodness, it's been a while. I feel like it's been a while that I don't share with you a video, but I've been busy, so that's really good, right? It's summer in Cheyenne, and so I'm making lots of events, and I'm very happy for that. But I wanted to share something with you that I noticed, and and I think already probably a lot of you already know. You know, we always try to look... Oh, my sticker eyes <laughs> fell. <laughs> We're always kind of like looking to make fast things, especially if you're doing line twisting. And so this is a kind of a advice or let's see what, you know, like a tip. I bought this assortment of 160 balloons, 160 assortments. You see the skinny ones, super skinny, not the ones that are 260. I'm talking about that 160 balloons. You can find it in Qualitex or Metalitex. And this one is all green, but then also I have this assortment. Why? Because also I did a balloon workshop for kids. So that means, you know, if they play with those 260 balloons, I'm gonna show you inflate one. This is just a balloon strap. So you just kind of see, you know, the difference what I'm talking about. When I'm talking about 260 balloons and 160 balloons. So this is a 260 and I'm gonna show you, let me see if I can. And here is a 160, so I'm going to inflate it. And even, you know, it's much faster to inflate a 160 than a 260. And if you have an electric pump, you know, you will notice it's super fast to inflate the 160. That's one thing that is going to help you for line twisting. Um, now, with these pumps, it's practical if you have 260 balloons. But there is also a balloon inflator that... I lost it. Can you believe it? I lost it. Uh, and that's a bummer. Because you cannot even find a balloon inflator. Everything is kind of like running out, right? Do you know that's it? Like if you go to your balloon store, you cannot find, you know, whites or blush colors. And that's uh, ridiculous, but it's very stressful, especially if you do also balloon decor. But anyways, there's 160 balloons. And right now, probably what I recommend you, because the... You know, like factories, they are not making much balloons. I don't know. It's, you know, that's what's going on. So they have this assortment box of balloons. And you can do a lot of things. So that's the cool thing, you know. So what I'm going to show you, to not make this too long, is this type of flower. And this is all 160, but look how cute and cool it looks. Kids will love it, but also adults. Adults love to see, you know, this flowers that are more elaborated but at the same time if you learn this technique it's super fast it's super fast and easy and what is also is much easier if you're using 160 balloons so this is the balloon design we're gonna make are you ready but also kind of like introduce you to the idea to to uh make balloon figurines with 160 another you know point or plus for 160 using 160 balloons is okay it's much easier to handle. Yesterday, I had an event that I was there for more than 12 hours. Yeah, so it's been a super long event. Why I'm saying more than 12 hours? Because I had to do first a balloon decor. I'm gonna show you the picture there. And that took me forever to make, you know, and install and everything. And then they had the event for six and a half hours that I was there twisting balloons for, you know, everybody. So, my fingers were like super tired. Right now it's still kind of like hurting, but I have an event today. So I had to, you know, like think that it's possible. So I'm thinking if I start twisting with 160s also after, you know, like long gigs of your hands hurts or you feel like, you know, they're getting weaker, your fingers, your hands, go and practice, you know, to make designs with balloons that are 160 because it's going to be much easier. For example, I'm going to inflate in order to make the flower and you can kind of like see the idea of the waving, that type of waving. I'm going to use two balloons, so two colors. But if then when you already got, you know, the idea, you will see that with these balloons can be the same color. Now let's do this. I'm going to inflate the balloon all the way, but leaving some tip. So if you don't have the tip enough, you lose some air always. That way your balloon is soft and skinny. So then when you have that, it's, it's soft and it's squishable. That's what I mean to say. You tied it. So, but you saw, I don't know if you noticed how fast it is. And now if you don't have an agenda, but you have this type of balloon inflator that it's the Borosino. It's a thing that means agenda 
people call that. This is amazing for 160s. So that's another cool way that I'm thinking, you know, kind of like going to balloons 160 to start, you know, making designs. And I have lots of designs that you will see in the future. <laughs> but this is um, super cool. I'm going to show you now. Because it's easy to introduce the balloon for the 160 in these pumps. And then you just push the white bottom and look how fast. It's super fast compared for a 260 with this balloon inflator. So you fill the balloon all the way. Then here, lose some air. So then you have a tip here to grab it. You see the tip? There it is. Now you try it. Now you have two of those. I'm just taking my time explaining, but I, trust me, this is perfect for line twisting and looks super cool. It's an impressive type of flower. You have this in both. Now, if you are in a hurry, because look how skinny they are, you can play with these two at the same time. That can be a choice, you know, but what you have to do is kind of like, look, here's where we tie the balloon. We kind of have to use our geometric eye to kind of separate this in three parts. You see? So that's what I'm doing. I'm playing with that. With practice, you will gonna be able to do this super fast. And that's another thing. And things doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of like do your best. Now, we're saving time in some way. That's what I'm showing you. Like you can do this and grab look. And you can even grab another loop of a 160. You know, a big one. Uh, try another color. And that's gonna be even much impressive and better. Now, look how I hold the balloon. Okay, and I'm gonna grab one and twist, and then the other two and twist. Things don't have to be perfect again, it's okay. But with practice, you will be able to make this, you know, better. Now, look at this. I try to, um, for educational purpose, just to do it one pink, one red, one pink, one red. Now, uh, to make this, you know, kind of like better, I noticed it's easier. Now you're gonna grab your green 160 and you are going to inflate it like four or five finger tail. Okay, now you're gonna grab, start for the nozzle and make like a three finger bubble. If this is optional, you can just leave a little bubble there, but I like to make this. It's a, a pinch twist type of idea. So it's like a two or three finger, you know, pinch twist and you're gonna just connect it in the center. I recommend you to do that before you start waving. That's gonna be much easier. Okay? Now put things where it was. There we go. And you can leave this. You don't have to make the stamp, the twist here yet. Now let's go with the waving part. And I'm gonna go closer so you can see what I'm doing. When you have this, look, I I think it's it's better. So this is my my body here. And I call it like this. So you have to imagine you are me in this time. Now you're gonna look how I'm using my balloon. I'm gonna go slowly. And my finger, middle finger is already grabbing this 160 and kind of pushing it down while the red is going up. So look, it became all the way to the other side and this one is up. We're gonna grab that part and that's our beginning. Now this next balloon is gonna go to this part and go down. And so we grab that part. Now this red is gonna go and go and do that. And my middle finger is grabbing that pink. And pushing like this, you see? Now let's keep going. The pink, now it's gonna go down and the red gonna go like this. And again, now the red is gonna go down and the pink is gonna go up. And here, I don't know, there's two balloons here, but it's okay. You just have to kind of like play in between there, go kind of like confused. And I don't know if you can see. It's a little bit tricky that far. I think one balloon went all the way to the other side. But it's supposed to, look, it's already waving. It kind of like messy this. I think I did something wrong, but it's still looking good. So <laughs> sometimes, you know, I wonder what I did wrong, but it's still looking cool. So 
But I want to show you, so I'm going to do this again. <laughs> yeah, let's do this again. So I'm going to do that because this, look how fast you can inflate 160. And the idea is we can learn. So I'm doing this part because I already showed you. And I'm going to use red, I say, so it's supposed to be easier, but I got confused. <laughs> okay, now I tie this together for fast purposes. We're going to grab this and kind of like, look, grab this, grab this. That's how I do it. You know, three times, twist it all together. Then you're going to inflate up. You can use 260, you know, for the stem if you want, but I like to try, you know, keep going with 160. Inflate it, leaving like five finger tail. Okay. And then I make three finger bubble. I make a loop, uh, I mean, pinch twist. You connect it in the center. And now we're back where I was supposed to uh, show you that. This. Okay. Now let's try this again. I have it like this and I don't wanna, it's hard to show and think about it, you know, to explain, I mean. So look how I have the balloon. This red now is gonna go down and that one in the bottom is gonna go there. You saw that? So they might keep going. This pink go down and the red go up. This thumb and thumb. And the thing is you just do that movement Look at my thumb, it's grabbing a balloon and it's kind of like pushing while the middle finger is kind of like working on that. And you just keep going until you have something like this. So you're gonna have red, pink, red, pink, red, pink on top. And the same is gonna be the other side. So you can already kind of start, you know, pushing more down and accommodate things but that's kind of one thing and I've been making these flowers it's really fast to make they look so cool so I wanted to share with you and then here you can leave it like this if you want but you can always kind of like bend it if you don't want to make a pinch twist or a loop there you can bend it and it's gonna stay like that or you can just look I always like to squish some balloon there it's just squishy there and then you just make, I take two loops, so that's gonna help to keep the shape a little bit, you know, the angle I want the flower to be looking at. You see? And then from here, kind of measure, squish, make like the letter S, find the middle of the letter S, and twist. And then look, this is so cool about also another plus of 160s, is you can twist and do a lot of things and you still have, you know, balloon to twist. So it's much easier to do. I make a bubble. This is optional, but it's gonna make your flower more stable and a pinch twist. And at the same the other side, a bubble, pinch twist. So that's something that helps your flower to be more stable. And there you go. Look how cute and how awesome look these flowers. You tell me in the comments, what do you think? If you know how to do this waving, um, that's great because probably you learn with balloons 260s and that's what I'm trying to show you that is still looking very cute with balloons 160 and it's much easier especially if your hands are getting tired and the same this is another thing I'm gonna show you my hands were super tired yesterday so I was like just working with 160s at, the, at least that last hour you know the last hour of the event I was like okay let's do this with only 160s so look you, it's much faster also because you don't have to inflate the balloon all the way for something really cool. That is what? The basis, the bracelet part, the flower that goes on there. So you just make loops like our three, four, you know, finger loop. And look how easy and fast it's to move. You don't have to, you know, use much your strength. You just do your flowers, you know, your petals. And look, if you make five, you will have for sure lots of balloons to make a bracelet. But also, you can make, you know, one more and six petals that are really cool for the flowers, right? Six petals, and you will have all this for a, a bracelet, especially for kids, you know, the wrists are smaller. So now, I'm going to put something on there, just so I have it ready for a moment. I'm going to put a heart. You can put a printed balloon, anything, you know, and this is 
something I saw on, on Grandma B. Grandma B, you know, she has uh, her ones and, and bases, you know, the flower bracelets. She have it with 160s. And now we kind of, I understand. Yeah, it's much easier. And also, it's still looking cute. It's still looking good. And you will have all these rest after six petals for your flower for a bracelet part. So look, you just put it there, anything, any balloon, print the balloons. And you just make a little hole. You can use your cutter <laughs> and don't use your teeth. You just lose the end. But look, I'm grabbing here the end. I'm pulling. So you pull and it's still holding this part so it doesn't get on. And then you have all this. And then the end, this is the end. Look, I'm pulling a little extra here. And then I just pass around that little end. And I'm gonna show you, this is, 160 tends to stretch more and make less pressure, which is really good. So then it's not gonna feel too tight. Look how easy it is to stretch this. Now, this is already cute, yeah, but what happens if we add something else and we can do it with 160, with, with 260, whatever you have available, because it's like a balloon scrap. But I'm gonna go, because I'm already showing you 160s, I'm gonna with this. A 160, look how fast, you just need this. So it was less than a second probably to inflate this. And to make something simple, much cuter, you can always make little bubbles, little bubbles, little bubbles. And that may take longer, but it's much easier to manipulate these balloons than the 260s. And I, what I want to show you is it's looking really cute. So when you have this, you know, approximately like eight little bubbles or nine, you just pass it around there. So do this, grab the nozzle, oops. So then this is gonna twist, you grab the nozzle, pass it around, and then cut. Don't use your teeth, use your cutter. And you still have balloon here, so you can tie it and save it for the next bracelet. So that's not something really cool. Don't forget, look, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, you grab it, you tie it, and then you save it for the next bracelet. Because sometimes in big festivals, lots of people do wanna make fast designs. So then you have a couple that are already pre-made and when there's a lot of people you can tell look you don't have to wait You can have these ones that I already have you know pre-made and they're looking cute adorable and nice Now this is already cute of course how to make at least this much you know impressive you put a light inside Yes, but also the new thing and this is an idea that I saw on Michael Bay stickers of uh, these 3d butterflies you can find on Amazon this is my wish Amazon wish list. You will see there's a link for these butterflies. You can find like 80 something butterflies for like $6 or something like that. So that's really cool. And what you just need to do is just take it out. Look, these are much cheaper, but it's okay because remember at the end, the balloons, you know, it's a temporal, you know, very short temporal uh, art. So they don't are for, you know, to last longer. So this is a little detail, but look, it looks like plain, right? But you can also fold it, the wings. You will see the instructions when you buy it. It's just like this. So you have it already now with the wings folded. Like this. And look, you know, I love it because I think it's perfect to give and add this extra, extra touch to your balloon. And it came with this kind of like glue dots or sticker that are double size. So you just have to kind of like take one. I take, I peel out one little, and then I just connect it there. And then I just gonna be easier for take it out. So that's what I found, you know, in case you wonder like how it's gonna take forever. Nah, you have it there, already the sticker, and put it there. This little, oh no, it's already yeah, ready to put. It's a little touch, but it's gonna make your balloon design, oh, it's like, ah, oh, the kids are gonna love it, especially the girls. You just put it there in one side, and look at this. And now your bracelet is looking much better. Now, you can always add more butterflies, yeah. Oh, there's also bigger butterflies. But I, something like this is super cute. You can put it even this butterfly in one of these bubbles. So I just wanted to share that with you and also because I was missing to make a video and see, you know, your comments. Um, so I just say, okay, let's share this. So we are, you know, connected. And you don't think that, oh, Cecilia probably, she is not making more videos anymore. No, I I will keep sharing videos. It's just I have some uh, plans and things that I have to keep it in secret. So um, 
but um, trust me, I'm always thinking all, all of you how to share ideas, designs, balloons. So this is gonna be really awesome. Um, now I'm folding this, but stay tuned. And remember, if you're new, you know, yes, the first video you're watching right now, I have already more than a hundred videos. I've had this channel for probably three years. So it's a really cool balloon channel or YouTube channel that you can learn balloon twisting and um, also ideas how to kind of like make your business of a balloon twister, you know, kind of more practical. You don't have to spend all the years that I spent kind of like learning, you know, and just telling to you what works, that what works for me. And I think it will work for you too. Awesome. So subscribe and what is the other thing? Subscribe and like the videos and leave your comments. That helps a lot to support this channel. Another way to support this channel, you know how? Check up on the description. You will see lots of ideas on how to collaborate with this channel. Have a wonderful day. Ciao, ciao.